My name is Alex Hall. I am a professor in the Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences Department at UCLA. My presentation was about a project that we have had going on for the past couple of years and is continuing on the impacts of climate change in the Los Angeles region. We took a number of global climate models that have been developed to do projections of global climate change around the world and we brought these models down to scale uh, for the Los Angeles region. We, we provided neighborhood scale information about changes in temperature, snowfall, uh, precipitation water resources, and, and fire. So it was, the purpose was to do a kind of comprehensive assessment of how the environment will change in Los Angeles in the future as a result of a globally changing climate. We, we, we did find um, a few things that were of, of note. Um, for example, we found that if we reduce greenhouse gas emissions over the coming decades, um, we, see, we still see significant climate change in the region and we see almost as much climate change um, by mid-century as if we uh, keep increasing greenhouse gases. Um, so we, we definitely concluded that um, a certain amount of climate change in the region is inevitable. Um, and um, we also found um, very, very large changes in, in a number of extremely hot days. We found um, big changes in, in wildfire um, area burned by, by mid-century. So we found some significant changes by, by the middle of the century. So there are a, a few uh, research projects that, that we have going on um, to complete this, this project. One is um, we, we want to look at impacts on, on water resources in the region. Um, and understand um, changes um, not only in snow, which I talked about today, but also um, changes in, in evaporation and stream flow um, in the region. Um, we also are a natural extension of this project is to look at changes in air quality and to collaborate with, with someone who has an expertise in, in air quality issues to try to understand the impacts of climate change on, on air quality. Um, um, it would be nice to see a project that um, actually looks at sea level rise in the region and, and actually drills down um, all along the coast to understand how, the, how a rising sea level would affect the coast. Um, these are some examples of some follow-on studies that would be interesting to, to pair with this project. Certainly it's important to um, take away the fact that adaptation is inevitable, that the climate is changing. It will change no matter what we do about greenhouse gas emissions. Um, and, and that by mid-century we do see a significant change in climate no matter what we do about emissions. Uh, by the end of the century, that's where the consequences of our actions make, it, make a difference. So if we look at the scenario where greenhouse gas emissions are reduced, we do see a, um, we do see a, a kind of a stabilization of climate by the end of the century. We don't see warming continuing beyond, beyond the mid-century values. Um, whereas in the business as usual scenario where emissions do keep increasing, we do see a continued warming um, and we see um, quite, a, quite a significant change in climate by the end of the century. So if we make choices about um, reducing emissions now, the impact um, will be significant and it will be felt at the end of the century. Um, but, but some climate change due to emissions that, that we've already produced and due to the natural inertia of the climate system, um, it, some, some change is definitely coming and definitely is inevitable by mid-century.